Hey guys, what is up? So it's Toxic Panda 777, obviously. And I just did this video on my MacBook, as you can see my MacBook, and I'm just on YouTube. And my freaking computer can be really stupid sometimes, and it will cut off the audio. So I did two parts of it, and the bigger part, which was seven minutes, and then the other part was like two minutes. The bigger part, the sound got cut off, and the second part, it didn't. So I was like, oh hell no, I'm not doing it again on my computer. I'll just do it on my iPod. At least it's faithful. And it's easier anyways. So this is a video on what you need when you get your first when you first get your guinea pig. So the first thing is pellets. Food pellets. Um so um these are just basic Timothy Hay Base pellets. Ooh, that's a bit much. I'm just going to a little handful to show you guys. So, that's them. That's what they look like. All you need, you don't need some special blend that says it's more healthy than pellets or anything. Because if it has colored bits in it, those are really fatty and unhealthy. Okay. Um, I use Missouri brand, and if you don't have it, like, if you don't want to use it straight out of the bag, you should always use, like, a vacuum-sealed container, which is, these are good. This, I got this at the dollar store, so it was only a dollar. It's pretty good, pretty good bargain. Um, and I filled it up to the top about two weeks ago, so pretty good. Okay. Next thing is Timothy Hay. So I also have this in a good bin that keeps it fresh and um smelling so good hell yeah sorry twilight breaking dawn just got the best movie of the year so you know sorry um i'm getting a little off topic um Oh my god, it smells so good. You smell it, guys. Smell it. I know you want to. Yeah. This is Oxbow brand, Timothy A, which is way better than KT or anything. But really, the most, like, popular ones on the market nowadays are Oxbow and KT. Oxbow is better. Come on, guys. Team Oxbow. Yeah. That's right. It smells great. And whenever I break this box out, Rocky comes a squeaking. So always have Timothy Hay on hand. They need an unlimited supply of Timothy Hay as, as well as pellets. Next thing is salt. Salt licks and mineral licks. So, here's a salt lick. It's just a big round circle of salt. Just kidding. Um, so yeah. It's, you know, they need that. Especially on hot days, they need salt. Um, Next thing is treats. You know, I have quite a variety of treats. These are hay wafers by KT. Um, Rocky likes them quite a bit, so they got some oats in there, you know. They're, you know. Um, then, Heidi Houses. These ones are known as Pigloos, or Pigaloo, Igloo, Pig Igloo, really anything. Mine, I don't use it for his cage though, um, because I made him one, but you especially need one of these, like, the first few days. And you know they're safe if they chew on them. Rocky didn't really chew on this one that much, as you can see. So, the uh, next thing is, like, a tunnel for them to run through and stuff. They always have this. I, the only reason I don't have this in Rocky's cage, um because it's like kind of too small for him now it's getting too small and i know it looks like blue but it's purple and the only reason i got this was so i like i, I was gonna get him a tubular which i going to get him one for his birthday and i like him a lot better and then i saw this and i was like i saw the price tag i was like oh it's only two dollars and 18 cents i'll get it i guess it was seven dollars it turned out it was just like mentally retarded it's freaking PetSmart. So, yeah. 
but that's the only reason I got it, because I thought it was $2, and it actually expands. It's really loud, and I don't like to expand it. See that? It, like, expands way more. It expands to 2 feet or 4 feet? I think 2. Yeah. The next thing is um, a way of transportation, kind of. Like, you, this isn't required for owning a guinea pig, but... They're always nice if you're taking a trip to the pet store, you want to take your guinea pig or something. Or you're taking a road trip, you're going to a hotel or something. You want to take your guinea pig, you just put them in this. They're nice. This is a super pet one, it's adorable. It's got a little pocket right here where you can just put some treats. Um, vitamins or anything like that. So yeah. They're quite expensive. I mean, when you get your guinea pig, they give you like a cardboard one. But, yeah. I have that, and I um, and so I think that's all of that's all this stuff over here. So now let's go to his cage, to the things that I can't necessarily take out of his cage because he uses them. Hi, Rocky. And in the last video, I'm just so bummed because I got some pretty good clips of Rocky. He came over and started sniffing my fingers. So you also need a water bottle. Ow! I got a big mess of hay over here, but you need a water bottle. Um, this is a 16 ounce right here, and it's from Petco, obviously, and I'm getting him a new water bottle when I go to Petco, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Then here's his food bowl. So let me show you inside the cage. So, that's his food bowl. It's just got his pellets. It's actually a potty, but it was never used as a potty, guys. Don't worry, that's his potty. Um, so it's got his pellets, his half cup pellets from today, and a little bit of pellets from yesterday. And here's his kebab. So it's got the bell, which I hear at night. Oh, Rocky is so cute. He's so adorable. Buddy. It's got a mineral wheel. And a wood block. And a loofah chew. And a wood block. And a wood block. <coughs> this is a smaller one because it's cheaper. So I just got a wire and hung it down from the ceiling. And there's Rocky in his bedroom, which he's spent almost all the time today in here because it's just been a lazy day, huh? And then there's his thing. So yeah, that's really all the necessary, 100% necessary thing. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. Two things, actually. If we just come over here to my Pillsbury Doughboy jar. Oh, yeah. And I keep some things. Like the most, like some of the most important small things. Which are Vita Drops. Who, um, which is easy to put in your water. Because in the guinea pig's water. Because which you, you should know that... Guinea pigs cannot produce their own vitamin C, so you have to produce it for them by vitamin drops and vitamins. And so this provides 25 milligrams daily vitamin C, and you're supposed to put two drops per ounce. So in that one, I put 34 drops in every time I change his water. Um, so yeah, that's an essential thing. And then another essential thing that I keep in the Billberry Dough Bar Jar is wood chews. So, you know, he's got one in his cage, but in his bedroom, and then he's got a bunch on his... Um, so these people like are like, oh, those are colored. Don't get those. But actually, these aren't like unnatural dyes. These are vegetable dyes. And like not all of them are dyed with vegetable dyes, but these ones are actually specifically asked them. So these are vegetable dyed. Um, and I got him these, this pack. It had five in it for Easter, so. And you should know, um, before you get a guinea pig, that guinea pig's teeth grow continuously. They never stop growing. So you need something for them to chew on 24-7. Um, because if they get too long, they can cause sores in their mouth and all that bad stuff. Another thing I didn't include, but I need to, and I am now, is bedding. Um, so bedding, I don't use bedding in my guinea pig's cage. I use fleece, clearly, but the bedding's the best bedding's because I did used to use fleece, I mean bedding, and I always have with my other guinea pigs. This is the first guinea pig I've ever, pig I've ever used fleece with. The best beddings are carefresh, natural. Um, the colors, like, I know they seem so fun, like pink and blue and purple and yellow and confetti. They seem so fun, but they're dyed. 
So if your guinea pig pees on it and then lays down on it and they have white fur, it'll dye their fur. So get Carefresh Natural. And pine and cedar beddings, they're really aromatic. And so one time we went up to a local grocery store that we had. And I had to get some stuff. I had to get bedding. And the only bedding they had for guinea pigs was cedar. So I had to get it. And I didn't want to. I like, like, uh, the only wooden bedding that's really good for them is the aspen. It's not really aromatic. But, and he liked it, liked the smell, and he tried to eat them. But then I immediately threw all the rest of it out and switched him to fleece. Um, because I just think it's all, it's easier. Um, some people don't think so. But if you're really up for the challenge of spot cleaning every single day and cleaning it out weekly which you should do with everything but you really have to do it because it really shows then yeah it's good um but yeah the pine and cedar they're way too aromatic carefresh is the best really it's the best and kt soft and cozy but that's it's pretty good too i heard but carefresh is the best and that's what I really think you guys is the best for any guinea pig or rat or mice or gerbils or hamsters or rabbits or chinchillas maybe chinchillas I don't really know that much about chinchillas but they're so cute so yeah guys that's it for my video um I'm gonna have another big big update video and haul video um Monday or Tuesday so tomorrow or Tuesday the day after um, so, yeah guys, bye.